take this on a little bit. We can speak to our correspondent Imran Khan, who's reported extensively from Pakistan and joins us now to report more on this. Uh, Imran, this guy, Zahir Ul Islam, new man in, is it likely to make any difference to the way the, way the ISI works? Not really. I mean, the short answer there is no because this job is much more about being a caretaker than it is about being a change maker. However, he's got a challenge on his hands. Lieutenant General Ahmed Shujar Pasha uh, was very unpopular in Washington. The Bin Laden raid was just one of many incidents that really destroyed the relationship that the Americans and the Pakistanis had. It's at the lowest point, that relationship's at the lowest point, so he has to rebuild that relationship. He's a very media savvy man. He's spent time with uh, the Chief of the Army Staff, Kiani. They went through the military ranks together. He gave one of the best jobs in the Pakistani military. That was chief of the uh, V Corps, which is the Karachi Corps. So he's seen as being very, very close to Kiani. So he'll be a man that has a very good working relationship with the chief of the army staff. That relationship uh, is very, very crucial, particularly when you're dealing with the Americans and you want to get the Pakistani position out. So he's seen to be somebody who may well be able to rework that relationship. But of course, the policy making always comes from the army. He spent time in America as well, hasn't he? Yeah, no, absolutely. He understands the culture. He understands the country very well. So that's really where he's going to be quite strong. However, the relationship between the CIA and the ISI has always been fraught. The drone strikes, there are fundamental issues that, are, that they disagree on. So if you spent time in the US, if you have a great working knowledge of America, if there are fundamental problems, those problems are still going to remain. So it's, it's quite a challenge. And, and as you say, the thing is here that the, it's the military who control the ISI, and it's Kayani who's pulling the strings, really, isn't it? No, absolutely. And the Troika in Pakistan has always been the president, the prime minister, and the chief of the army staff. That's the, they're the centers of power. And that's where, the, you know, that's where the real power in Pakistan lies, particularly when you're talking about national security matters, where it solely lies with Pakistan's army. If they change their policy, if they change their minds, then you know, you've got to, the ISI has a fighting chance to try and change policy there, particularly the way they talk to the US. But it's, it's a military-led thing. This appointment, it's, ve it's very crucial, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a very important position, possibly the second most important position in the country. So you know, some analysts say that, that it's, it's you know, that big a position. But until that policy changes, then it really isn't a massive change in the way relations will be between the US and Pakistan. Mm, interesting. Be very interesting to see how it all pans out. Imran, thanks very much for that.